three of the country's rising fashionistas, Patricia Prieto, David Gison, Camille Co. Rocking the local fashion scene with their personal style and online presence. With only a week, they've assembled their own fierce Manila Street fashion collections. The catch? Majority of the items were selected from pre-loved fashion finds on iosdito.ph. Do fashion finds have to be expensive? Absolutely not. I started with just buying thrifted clothes. So I would go to Ukay Ukay's every time, you know, to be creative with fashion. And at the same time, I think dun siya nag-click sa readers ko. Fashion, you don't have to wear expensive clothes in order to be fashionable. I mean, it really depends on the person wearing it and how the person styles it. We all started really young in this business. And what comes with youth is that wala tayong pera masyado. So we really have to get resourceful. And I think that's where fashion and creativity really comes to play. People are starting to get into online shopping, so I think it's perfect that I have this collaboration with iosdito.ph because, you know, I can sell my stuff and some of the sellers can sell their stuff to me as well. When I found out about the challenge, I was actually really excited because it was something new. I love trying new things out, so it was an immediate yes for me. Meeting the sellers was so fun because some of them I met for the first time and one of them came all the way from Nueva Ecija, so I was very touched by it. So I'm very happy ako to be part of Tile Ko Ayos Dito because I had an opportunity to meet my favorite fashion blogger, which is David Gison. So looking for items in Ayos Dito was really hard. Not hard because it's it easy layout, lang naman. it was easy to search, but it was so hard because there were so many good choices. It's a good problem to have. Actually, I had fun posting with Ayos Dito because uh, even kahit seller, I'm also a buyer. It takes you to a different world of pre-owned items. It's like uh, you being in a vintage store, pero you got the chance to meet with the person na nagbenta, and you got to hear their stories behind each item. It was really nice to get to know them. I mean, we only spoke for a couple of minutes, but I know I'm going to see them again. It was so nice to see that these sellers wanted to share the little bit of them with me. It's the first time that I'm going to attend a fashion show and it's nice to be a part of it because it's something that I can co-style co the collection. I can't wait for it. I'm super confident and I actually like how my collection turned out because um, I was surprised to see that um, all these different pieces from different people came together and it formed just one really great collection. I'm the only blogger na focusing on menswear, so it's very different from them. But um, seeing their looks, um, it's very powerful, so I know it's gonna be a tight competition. Today, rin, and dami namin inad pa, like last minute changes. The usual, like like a regular fashion show talaga. Na we, we decided to add more stuff in, and we did mga, we switched a few outfits, like yung, yung coat nito, na switch namin to the other models. So now I feel like mega prepared na kami sa dami ng mga editing na ginawa. Na. I really feel like Camille has a strong, uh, strong chance of winning. But I think uh, David will win. I'm gonna go with Patricia.
style them was really impressive and I would wear any one of the outfits straight off from the model how they were styled from the top right down to you know the accessories and the bus it was amazing. It was amazing. I think the challenge is very unique because this is the first time that the social media influencers are really engaging their fans. Here, they don't just get to meet the bloggers, but they're also co-styling with them. So I think that's really awesome. Actually, it's a pretty good idea because it's not something you see every day. And I think that uh, looking for pre-loved items online is also something that kids like to do today. You know, just because it's pre-loved doesn't mean that it's not good, it's not good, it's not Especially with the creativity and the magic touch of our top bloggers. They're reborn yung mga pre -loved. Since they're pre-loved, they come with a history which makes them all the more unique and exciting. I think when people think about IST or buy and sell in particular, apparently they think about furniture, old appliances, old gadgets, but people don't really think about clothes when it comes to the buy and sell websites. So I think it's a great way to engage the younger market. Excited to come to the next IST Tito. Ah, 